Hi everyone, let's have a look at a puzzle resulting from a game between Vidit and Areshinka in 2017. So I won't comment the whole game, just the resulting position from which the puzzle occurs. So we have Sicilian defense. So this is the position. Here we need to find a winning move for white. So let's have a look at the six steps discussed previously and quickly analyze this position. So step one, trying to understand the position, uh, counting the material so it's equal. Each side has uh, equal number of pawns, minor pieces, rooks, queens. Uh, looking at the king's safety position, both are quite vulnerable. Probably black king is more vulnerable than white. Uh, there are threats of um, taking on g3, then rook takes f f2 and f f3 as well. So number of different things that might happen so we're not looking at those specific moves and calculations now black have actually undermined the position of their king by playing at some stage f5 well g6 also pushing this pawn obviously they wanted to have an attack on the king now this king is extremely vulnerable most surprisingly is this potential diagonal which could be used for an attack so that's why the move probably queen d1 has been made to potentially check from a1 which is a very nasty check because the king has no place to go the defending move could be like bishop d4 or queen e5 rook f6 but out of them only one works like queen e5 if there was a check on a1 king has no place to go and the only saving move is queen e5 and black is okay more or less so open files diagonals ranks obviously great position of the rook on the seventh rank uh, potentially open uh, file on a it's not taken by anyone yet but the greatest benefit of this position probably is the resulting weakness and strength for white weakness for black of the diagonal a1 to h8. So they created it themselves. They were looking at an attack, but um, this is probably the greatest weakness that they've created themselves. So now looking at each piece, this queen probably has uh, has a good position because it can, it can jump to d5, maybe g4. A1 is the deadly check that we need to explore when we look at the candidate moves. Bishop is fantastically positioned, look, looking at this diagonal, helping to checkmate the king and restricted movements at this stage. Rook also probably the best position that it could it could have. So everything looks fine, while there are some tactical threats appearing by black. So we need to be sort of mindful of them as well. So let's have a look at immediate threats. So we have some check on f3, probably taking on g3, bishop looking at f2 then rook at f2 so we need to take this into account when we do our calculation the issue that i see straight away is that if there is an f3 we probably can go to king h1 it's not a big deal we might even give up the f2 pawn so that this bishop does not take with a check if in some scenarios so there is a long way for black to sort of advance that so now thinking about possible motives in this position it seems pretty obvious that it is about the position of the black's king so we need to have a look how to potentially checkmate and the checkmate that or the threat that we have right now is queen a1. It would be great if we could check on, uh, check that. At the moment there is queen e5, so we need to think about how to overcome queen e5. Because if they don't have that move, queen a1, then all pieces are gone. Uh, bishop d4, we will take. Rook f6, we will take with a mate. Okay, now let's try and establish candidate moves. So we need to think about checks, captures, and threats. Checks, rook h7, no, it looks ridiculous, doesn't work, so it's not our candidate move. Another check, queen a1 is going to be one one candidate move checks captures we need to review gf and there is nothing else to review threats with threats we probably need to think about how to execute our scenario with queen a1 having only one move that protects the position so we 
cannot play queen a1 check and uh, because we will get queen a5 and that's it we're we're going to be stuck so typically when you have a forcing forcing move plus a piece that is the defender in those positions we need to think about a tactical motive called deflection um i'll probably spend another few puzzles uh, talking about deflection because I, I remember some great games so before playing queen a1 check we need to think about how to deflect the queen from e8 so maybe we need to use our piece which is either the bishop or the rook to sort of distract this queen from protecting e5 how can we possibly do that so there there are a few moves available rook e7 rook b8 bishop f7 bishop b5 with a lot of these moves there is still a reply of queen e5 so for example rook e7 queen takes e7 nothing has changed the queen is not deflected from e5 if we play bishop f7 say queen e5 bishop b5 queen e5 still but there is a interesting move of rook b8 because you have to respond if you play um, move queen e5 rook b8 queen e5 okay you've protected the diagonal but the issue is, is that this rook attacks uh, the rook on f8 so that's the sort of the motive also if queen takes on b8 then we will have a mate in two because bishop has to move here we will take rook has to has to come here and we will take it as well mate with the rook b8 of course taking the rook is losing queen e5 is losing queen e7 is losing as well because we will rook b8 queen e7 queen a1 check if queen g7 then we will take with a mate if queen e5 we will take on f8 and then when the king comes to g7 we might give a check on f7 and potentially look at either exchanging the queens or looking for for a mate pattern afterwards but anyway that's going to be winning with an extra rook so let's play rook b8 so there is also a check on f3 and we will just move to king h1 so after that black resigned because there is no sensible move as a defense thanks for watching 